welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Yesterday we talked about this data set. It has date and time in column A and energy usage in column B. We wanted to summarize that by day. And yesterday I used a pivot table in Excel 2007. Now you know most of the time I'm doing the podcast in 2003. This doesn't work in 2003 because I have so many items. 35,000 items is more than the limit. Back in Excel 2003, we couldn't have more than 32,000 items in any one field of a pivot table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert a new column and I'm going to call it the date column. Now if our dates over there in column A are truly stored as date and time, then it's going to be very simple. We're going to use the equal INT function. INT is basically going to chop off the time portion of that. So we can format that cell, choose um, for example just the first date format, copy it down and we've actually now converted those dates and times into very simple days. We'll allow that to calculate, copy and paste special values, and then it's just a matter of building a little summary table over here. So 9-1-2006, we'll grab the fill handle and copy this down. I think our data goes somewhere into 2008, might be far enough, and we can use the SUMIF, equals SUMIF. We'll take a look at this range here in column B. If it's equal to that particular day, then we want to sum up the corresponding cell from the range in column C. Copy that down and we'll have our summary table. Now this becomes more difficult if that data over there in column A is not actually stored as it, but instead is stored as text. We'll take a look at how to solve that in tomorrow's podcast. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.